I'm a UK based property photographer but this covers uh, more than just UK you don't need to be in the UK to be doing 360 photography so uh, obviously in America this is called real estate over here we call it property photography or estate agents um, those terms get banded around all the time but um, hopefully this will be useful to um, anyone who's looking to uh, brand their 360 product uh, and maybe offer something to your agents in this tutorial we're going to create a logo to go across the bottom of a 360 image uh, this is useful to hide your tripod or anything else that's down below in the nadir point uh, so we're going to start with your actual logo um, you need it, it can be any shape, any size, but we're going to transform that into the circle that we need to go over the bottom of the tripod head uh, so I have my logo here um, I have a, an image with the tripod head showing and uh, we need to create um, an image to, to match that so first things first go to image and image size we see here it's 5376 by 2688 so we need to create a new image with a uh, 5376 by 2688 whatever dimensions it is that your 360 camera spits out and I'm going to create it with a, ba a transparent background Okay, so that matches the other one. Then I'm going to take my uh, logo, select all, copy, and paste it into the image. Uh, Control T to transform, and I'm going to scale it down to a reasonable size, and then drag it to the middle. It's important it needs to be in the middle for this process. Set the image. Uh, now we're going to create a circle over that logo. Lots of different ways you can do that. Um, we're going to use the marquee tool and make sure that you're set to selection as opposed to add selection or uh, deselection or take away selection. And you hold down the shift key and drag a circle. Now you can either do it like that, you can see it hasn't lined up, so that's no good. The way I found is if you start on, uh, if you drag a guide in from the top to the top of the image, make sure your guides are set to snap, and it snaps to the side of the image. Now, if you take your uh, marquee tool and shift from the corner and drag to the width, now as you can see, I don't know exactly where the right hand edge is, so that's also not going to help. So I'm just trying to show you ways that you can do it but mess up but it's important that you actually end up with um, the circle inside the edge of the border of the image so deselect that now get another guide and bring it into this side bottom one isn't relevant uh, because we're going to resize the circle anyway so again top left cursor over the, the crosshairs of the guides hold down shift drag across this time it will snap to the edge of the picture on that border before it allows you to go across. You see the height and the width are exactly the same size so we can let go. Now with our mouse we click and we drag the circle and it should yeah, snap into the middle there. So now we have our circle that we're going to put our logo into. Uh, first things first I'm going to get rid of the guides so that's uh, view clear guides and I'll do invert the selection so that's control shift I or select inverse and then I'm going to use the eraser tool to erase the bits of the logo that's outside of the circle now I'm going to take the um, I'm going to reselect or, or invert the selection again so I'm back on the inside of the circle control shift I or select invert and I'm going to use the eye for eyedropper tool which is over here I'm going to select the color of my logo and then I go to the brush tool and I'm going to paint in the missing part of the circle now if you had a hexagonal logo you could do exactly the same thing and just put the hexagonal logo at the bottom it's up to you what shape you choose but I'm choosing to use a circle uh, hexagonals might not stitch correctly it might take a bit of practice 
So now what we need to do is make this circle um, ready to be transformed so it can be stitched back in by the software. Lots of little steps to do here but first of all most importantly we need to know what area we need to cover. So if you take the marquee tool and go to rectangular and start at the bottom of your image and drag up to the edge of the tripod you can see there that the height is 204 pixels so the minimum you want really just to give yourself a bit of extra is probably 210 so we go back to our new slide and we draw the marquee tool up from the bottom to 210. So now we, now we know where 210 is from the bottom we drag a guide down from the top which snaps to the marquee tool deselect so now we need to get this image ready to go below that line. First of all we need to transform it so that it's the right size uh, later on Control T or Edit Transform, and you need to do Shift Alt and then drag from the left to the edge of your frame. Now, earlier I mentioned how it's important to make sure you've got the edge of this circle. If you miss the edge of the circle, what you actually end up with here is with a flat spot on the edge. That's why it's important. Shift Alt and drag up. So essentially it's a 2 to 1 ratio. Now without changing anything else we drag down to below the line and then we rotate 90 degrees, sorry 180 degrees. If you hold down shift it will snap to that. And then we need to move it back to the center of the image. Again that's important because the next stage won't happen unless you do such a thing. So it's uh, enter, then we do filter and distort and polar coordinates. You need to set to polar to rectangular and press OK. That flips the image to the top and then we transform again and up here we had a negative value, so minus 100% and minus height 100% and that flips the image and then we drag it down making sure it snaps to the bottom and hit enter. Now if you started with a white or black uh, background you would then need to make the top half of this transparent before you save it as a PNG ready to overlay onto your uh, image. So we do file, save as, save this as PNG, I always call my things whatever it is uh, PNG because I don't have file extensions showing on my computer and it makes it easier for me to find stuff when I'm looking for it. a large size because it's better quality for overlaying. So that's now ready to go. I can discard that because I've got the PNG ready. Deselect that and then file, place embedded, logo PNG, place, enter. Now that's completely covered. When that stitch is back in the software that will make a perfect circle with the logo in the middle of the circle. Obviously, depending on your tripod, you adjust the height um, of your um, guide when you make the logo. So, once you've got your logo, you can put it across any image. Um, if you're doing a tour, last thing you want to do is have to open them individually and set the logo uh, each one, each time. So, there's a quick and easy way to do that, and we create an action. So, if I just remove this from the image and uh, leave the image open. If I bring out the actions panel, I can do new action and I can call this logo place 360 
record. I'll take my logo 360 and you notice that's in the bottom of the default actions panel there and all I do is do file, place embedded, select the logo, place, hit enter and stop record. Now we have a folder here, six test images we've all got the tripod head over the top of them so all I'm going to do is ask Photoshop to run a script, image processor, select folder that's my folder and then I'm going to run it, ask it to run default actions logo place 360 you can actually save it as you can see I've done one before um, I've actually got a different folder um, so once you've selected your action make sure your quality is set to whatever you need it to be and you click run then it will open each into file individually place the logo on top and save it in a folder here JPEG each one of these has the logo on top obviously this is a great way to promote your own brand um, but you could also use this to create logos for your uh, agents, your, your real estate agents or um, your estate agents in the UK um, by creating, taking their logo and making it um, something that you can put across images um, you could use this as, a, as an upsell um, or maybe two tier stage them uh, so you can say well, if my logo goes on the bottom then the price is X and if your logo on the goes on the bottom then the price is a bit more uh, it's not going to cost you much more to actually produce the images for the with the um, agent's logo on it um, because hopefully if you followed this video it'll all be done by the script um, it's just going to take you the time it takes to set up um, so useful you could have um, you can see here I've got actions uh, for, for my logo and my, my two agents that I, that I do 360s for at the moment uh, post lockdown um, that's hopefully going to grow um, exponentially to a lot more agents. Uh, thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more helpful tutorials.